country and here at home. Lots of reaction to this indictment. NBC 5's Carolyn Sistrand spent the evening talking to political experts and leaders. She's live in the newsroom with what they had to say. Carolyn. Yeah, Brian, Alice, we thought this might happen last week. Some feel like it's about time the former president is held responsible for these accusations. Others saying not so fast and that we don't have all the facts. A historic day, the Manhattan District Attorney confirming the indictment of former President Donald Trump Thursday. No president sitting or ex has been indicted for a criminal act, uh, so this is unprecedented. The charges still sealed. So while we wait for the exact details, there's been plenty of reaction to this never before seen indictment of a former U.S. president. We are always happy to see justice served. Vermont Democrats Party Chair David Glidden questions how the party on the other side of the aisle will respond. I'm really looking for is the reaction of other Republicans of is Donald Trump a now indicted uh, person is still their standard bearer and will he be their nominee in 24? We're kind of taking a, a wait and see approach. Vermont GOP chair Paul Dame believes it's too early to judge if the former president is guilty or how this may impact Trump's already announced presidential run in 2024. I saw faith in our in our justice system, I think it's the best justice system in the world, and we have a process for a reason so that the, the truth will come out one way or another. What's next for the former president? Middlebury College political analyst Matt Dickinson says he will go through the legal process like anyone else. Donald Trump will be arraigned. He has to come to New York. That process is probably being negotiated now. Uh, he will have to have his mug shot and fingerprinted. Um, my guess is befitting the status as an ex-president, most of this will be done behind the scenes. You won't see Donald Trump in a perp walk. The reaction from Washington, D.C. was quick with supporters like New York Republican Congresswoman Elise Stefanik calling the DA's push to indict the former president election interference, a political witch hunt and a dark day for America, calling on patriotic Americans to vote for Trump at the ballot box in 2024. Vermont Democratic Senator Peter Welch saying no one, even Donald Trump, is above the law and we must wait for the legal process to work out. Vermont Congresswoman Becca Ballant adding that this moment will define the legacy of the 45th president and reflects the values of accountability in our justice system. We did reach out to Vermont Senator Bernie Sanders for his thoughts tonight. His team tells us he is currently traveling and unavailable for comment. In the newsroom, Carolyn Sistran, NBC5 News.